and dear students welcome to this video tutorial uh, before we toss today's item let me remind you something in first class we read about the concept of using laws of many digits <coughs> then after in our second class we read the how to solve first type of solve question from the same topic laws of indices but today we are not going to touch the second type before we talk the second type we must know how to use root of index because this uh, about the law of zero index product law of index uh, division law of index power law of index you read already in class eight but how to use root law of index you have not read up to class 8 some of you might have read no problem but most of you might have not read how to use root law of index so i am telling you before we talk second tribal sort question we must know how to use root law of index then if possible we shall solve some questions you can be see on the board i have done some questions related to these questions can be solved by using root law of index so the first part, let us uh, read how to use root of index while solving some problems in the topic laws of indices. Okay, before we talk the problems, let us talk about this problem. Okay, cube root of a to the power 9. But before solving this, I want to remind you in our first class we read if a to the power m this m represents order of root order of root a here represents base here represents index of a we say power of a so while using root of index this we have already talked a little we can use root of index by this a to the power power inside we have here open the order becomes denominator of power a to the power m open order that is a to the power m by n so today the first time we are going how to use root of index only okay let us use the same law here so here order is 3 a is the base 9 is the index of a it means a to the power using that using this rule a to the power a has the power 9 as we know order order of root becomes denominator of power that is a to the power 9 3 comes down 3 becomes denominator of power that a to the power 9 upon 3 then by this way we can remove root from here similar this can be simplified one more step 9 divided by 3 3 3 is a 9 possible to cancel 3 is a 9 so a cube is the answer i repeat one more time first while removing root from here a to the power 9 upon this 3 we know according to the rule, root of index the order of root becomes denominator of power then after this if possible to simplify we do simplify and we write the answer then one more if we have this term here a x to the power 2a here check the order of root first this a represents order okay let us remove root from here x is the base here x is the power 2a Yax, here is the power 2a upon this order becomes denominator of power 2a by a then it can be simplified one more step a up a down can be cancelled yax to the power 2 remaining we say x is square so by this way we use root law of index now if let us check one more example if we have this line here order a plus b x to the power a plus b again now if we have an algebraic expression as the order of root dot 
to a friend, then let us remove root from here. Yes. <coughs> so the power inside the A plus B. And here again order of root here A plus B. So A plus B by again A plus B order. The, the, this A plus B written over here. This is the A plus B order written in the denominator of power to remove root. It is offside A plus B, A plus B can be cancelled here to the power 1, that is X. So by this way, we use root law index. Don't forget, the, don't forget to check the order. Then while removing the root, this order of root becomes the denominator of power. So let us check some, let us solve some questions from the board. Okay, we were talking about how to use root law index. So by using root law index, let us solve some problems. Okay, I start from the first problem. Its solution starts. Fourth root of 16 to the power minus 1. Then we have already taught how to use root law index. This four is order of root here. 16 base. 16 has the power minus 1. So let us re try to remove root from here. Using this root law index, we have 16. Chain return. 16 has the power minus 1 upon this order of root becomes denominator of power then root can be removed order becomes denominator so after this you this time problem we have root read already <coughs> okay let us take the denominator sorry, power first what type of power here fractional power what type negative so if we make a negative power into positive first before we simplify, it will be easier to simplify. But uh, it's not compulsory to make a negative power positive. After simplifying some steps, then also you can make uh, you can say negative power into positive power to get the answer. But uh, if we change negative power into positive power, it will be easier to simplify. Okay, let us check. Let us change the negative power into positive. And we have the rule. I hope you have not forgotten a by b whole power minus 3. We can change negative power into positive power. How? Why are in the reciprocal of base? b by a whole power, power becomes plus 3. Using this concept, here is the base 16. And reciprocal of 16. It is actually 16 upon 1. Its reciprocal is 1 upon 16. So write the reciprocal of 16, 1 upon 16. Whole power, power as minus 1 upon 4, it becomes plus 1 upon 4. Then after next idea, again do check the power. Now power became positive. Check the denominator of power here, we have 4. So let us change the base something to the power 4. Okay, as you know, offside we have 1. 1 is 1 to the power 4, as we have to express the base something to the power 4. 1 to the power 4 and 16 you can do check it by finding prime factors you can define prime factors to 2 and 16 2 for the 8 2 to the 4 16 is actually 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 that is 2 to the power 4 so in the base of 16 we can write 2 to the power 4 and we have the whole power 1 upon 4 Okay, again using power of index, this how to use power of index we did already in our previous class. So as 1 and 2 have equal powers, can be written into single power. 1 by 2 whole power 4 times, we have the whole power 1 upon 4. Again, okay, these two can be simplified. 4 up, 4 down, can be cancelled. So 1 upon 2, we have the power 1. 1 step over here. Equals 1 to the power 1 gives 1, 2 to the power 1 gives 2. This is the required answer. Okay, I solve first problem using root law index. I want to repeat one more time. Check the order first while solving. Remove, try to remove the op, root from the question. So checking the order here we have 4. Using root law index, 16 is the base. 16 has the power minus 1. This 4 becomes denominator of power 16 to the power minus 1 upon 4 if you have 3 order here will be 16 to the power minus 1 upon 3 if we have 5 here 16 to the power minus 1 upon 5 
Then after, after this chain, the negative power into positive half, writing the reciprocal of base 16. Its reciprocal is 1 upon 16, then minus 1 upon 4. The power became plus 1 by 4. Then, when after this, we have to try to cancel the denominator of power. That means we have fractional power here. If we have fractional power, we should change fractional power into one number power. So to, to, to do that, we should try to cancel the denominator power. Here we have 4. So for if we have 4 here, we should express the base something to the power 4. So expressing 1 upon 16. 1 is 1 to the power 4, 16 to the power 4. Then we express the, we wrote 1 and 2 have equal powers. We wrote in into single power. Into 1 upon 4. 4, 4 cancel. 1 by 2 have the power 1. 1 by 2 to the power 1, that is equals to 1 upon 2. I hope you might have understood this example. So I want to do one more. So if you do take the second problem, it's a similar to problem number 1. Third also similar. 1, 2, 3, 4, all are similar. So I want to do one of this type. Okay, let me say question number 6. Okay, so solution is to us, we have the question cube root 27 upon 8, whole power we have minus 1. No? Okay, we have the again condition of root. Let us try to remove root by the root of index. Again, check the order. What is the power inside? Minus 1. So, removing the root from here, 20, whole power minus 1 upon we then root reboot okay 27 upon 8 this is the base here is the power minus 1 remove the root from here this is the order of this root becomes denominator of power again to make it easier to simplify this again you if you do check the power power minus 1 upon 2 again we have negative power so let us change the negative power into positive power only to make uh, the solution easier. Okay, 27 upon 8. To make this power positive, we should write the reciprocal of it. 8 goes up, 27 comes down. 8 upon 27. Now power was minus 1 by 3. Now plus 1 upon 3. Then I have already told you while using this uh, concept, don't change the sign of base, change the sign of power only. Okay, again, this time we have already read how to solve in our previous class. Okay, again, checking the power. Again, we have fractional power, but the power is positive now. Okay, add the power is fractional power. Let us try to cancel the denominator of power to make fractional power into one number power. Okay, as the denominator of power is 3, let us check base in Q form. Okay, outside we have 8. 8 is equal to euro variable 2Q. And answer that 27. 27 is equals to 3q. Now if you can't write directly, you can just check by writing by finding prime factors of it, by finding prime factors of 27. You know very well 2, 2, 2 for the 8, 2, 2 is 4, 8 is equals to actually 2 times 2 times 2, that is equals to 2q. So by this way you can do check. Okay, let us write 8. Let us change base in q form. 2q. 27 3 q and we do have the whole power 1 upon 3 again using power of index 2 has the power 3 3 has the power 3 2 and 3 have equal powers can be written into this form 2 upon 3 whole power 3 and we have again outside whole power 1 upon 3 okay 2 and 3 2 q and 3 q express into single power 1 by 3 same copy. These two can be simplified. Here we have multiplication relation. In multiplication, we can do cancel same factors up and down. 3 up, 3 down can be cancelled. Two steps over here. 2 by 3 base. We have one remaining. But my dear students, something here, maybe two. We can do follow the similar idea. One here. 2 to the power 1 gives 2. 3 to the power 1 gives 3. We pair with 2. 2 is square gives 4. 3 is square gives 9. By this way we should solve. So 2 upon 3 is the answer.
So I saw two problems related to this. B. Then after in our next class we we can do touch the second type of short question. Then my guess is you can I have written some questions on board. You can do copy and you can do try and to work. But don't depend on the questions written by me on the board. You can do check by yourself some questions in your textbook also and try to solve similar questions. Try to solve something similar to this. Do practice a lot. Uh, in our next class, we shall touch the second type of short question from laws of indices. My dear students, please don't forget to like and subscribe greatly. Do practice a lot. Thank you.